Two and stop. The other side. One, two, three. 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 One. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, and stop. Okay, hands up. Reach down. One, two, three. To your right, two, three. To your left, two, three. Sana. Inhale. Exhale, hands up, reach down, one, two, three, to your right, two, three, to your left, two, three, center, inhale, exhale, hands up, reach down, one, two, three, to your right, two, three, to your left, two, three, center, inhale, exhale, hands on your waist, circular movements, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, reverse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, center cross, knees, circular movements, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, switch hands, one, <clears throat> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, <clears throat> two, Hands in your waist, neck turning one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two. Turn it back and forth, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, one, two. Center tilt, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two. Center down, circular movements. One, two, three, 
reverse one two three center hands up inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale spread your feet uh, turning one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three and stop turn stretch it out Switch. 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 Okay, Sarah.
Okay, shake it out. Deep breathing. <clears throat> Okay, shoulder roll. Reverse. Okay, palms down, <clears throat> press, exhale, inhale. And stop. Deep breathing. Inhale. Okay. Elbows and knees. <clears throat> Reverse. Okay, palms down, big circle two, and up.
Okay, one more, one, two, and stop. Okay, side to sides. And Sana. Sana. Okay, insert the needle. Okay, one more. Okay, switch. Hey Lisa. And Sana. Okay, leg swing. And switch. And center, side to side. Switch. And Sana. Okay, deep breathing. Inhale. Okay, so grilling.
switch. Okay, open and close. Switch. Okay, Sana, preparation. Hello, who? Shall the height?
elbows down. Okay, lower, palms down, straighten up. Extend. Okay, deep breathing, inhale. Okay, diagonal flying. Okay, switch. Santa, cloud hands. Do a foot, footwork. Going back. Going back. Okay, Senna. Okay, carry tiger to the mountain.
Okay, turn. Leopard and tiger springs to mountain. Carry tiger with the footwork. Stalk flaps wings. Turn. Leopard and tiger springs to mountain. Okay, one more time. and infinity sign. Okay, form the fist. Okay, strum the loot. Okay, turn, draw the bow. Fan to the back. Okay, raise the hand.
Okay, palms down, deep breathing. Inhale. Okay, go to the short form. Feet parallel, ready? <clears throat> okay, preparation.
Okay, deep breathing, inhale. Okay, so we'll try that again, ready? Feet parallel. Preparation. Pulse the monkey.
Okay. Ready for long form? And, and shift this way a little bit if you want. Yeah, okay, ready? Long form, preparation. It's a long form.
the horse's mane, toe out, step up, part the horse's mane. One more. Cross corner, four corners. Part the horse's mane. Grass the sparrow's tail. Okay, set it up, cover hand, snake sticks out tongue, invert the hand and pull down. Step up, golden cockerel. Other side, back to repulse the monkey. Carry tiger to the mountain. Step up. Raise the hand. Stalk flaps wings. So he'll pivot, brush knee one time. Second insert needle. Fan through the back. Parry and punch. Step up, form the fist, punch, divert, block, punch. Step up, grasp the sparrow's tail. Single whip. Cloud hands. Set up, palm strikes face. Turn, 180, single lotus. Brush knee and push left. 
toe out, step up, punch down the crotch, right side. Toe out, step up, grasp the sparrow's tail. Single whip. Second downward posture. Cover, stick, snake sticks out tongue, pull down. Step up, cross hands, seven stars. Retreat. Palm strikes face. Turn. Double lotus kick. Draw bow to shoot tiger. Palm strikes face. Turn. Parry and punch. Step up, set it up, high pat the horse. Toe out, step up, grasp the sparrow's tail. Closing the form, hold and reverse the ball. Diagonal flying right side. So any questions? So long form is really more of the same. It's doing essentially the movements. The form is done essentially twice. There's always a like a second section that's repeated. So why are, why are forms done the way that we do it? Because hands, eye, body, waist, and stance. You heard that term before. In the form, we have more of the the stance, the legwork, the transitions, the mapping of the form. So mapping is, is a routine. So if you do those for discovering where the, you know, waiting, weight shifting is, how to step. So there's more of that than just standing here doing these, our drills. So the drills help you work with the patterns and then once you develop your patterns, then the body starts to recognize. So what, what do we start to recognize? The shapes, the sizes, the reference points. What are the reference points? The forehead or the eyebrows, right? Center line, shoulder width, the width of the head, the width of the shoulders, 45 degree corners, okay? Then you have shoulder, the sternum, and the waist. So if you reference those points, then that's the size of your movements. So every individual has their own parameters for their sizes. And that's where the consistency comes from. So when we do the same movements over and over again, you begin to recognize um, from the loot position, which is what I call a fundamental position, elbow down, and your hoop. Hoops are the circles. So that circle that goes from here all the way down to here and carry tiger to the mountain or the circle here on the sides that reverses the ball. Those are the sizes of, of that circle. And that sizes are the arcs of your arm, right? If it's a circular uh, movement and the size of your arm is a ring. It's a cross section of that, that circle. But that circle is the biggest part of the, the sphere. It's really a globe. And then there's layers of those circles that actually start to get smaller and smaller at the top and the bottom, right? 
So you have all these circles, but you really only have to define for accuracy what this is your standard, and then everything else becomes a variant of those shapes or that. So the arcs and shapes that you create, depending on like carry target the mountain, it's really a circle and a circle, right? And you blend it together, then you have this big globe. You look at it as a two-dimensional movement, you see the circle, then you have your two circles that are here, then you cross-shape it like that, you have your figure eight, and you also have your yin-yang configuration coming to that. So if you have your yin-yang configuration, that, 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 that's your pattern. I always talk about circles and figure eights, right? Infinity is a figure eight. So if you want to define these moves, you have to reference your own body. So when you're in a center line position, okay, that's the vertical line. When you're in a horizontal position, that's elbows out, armpits open. And then when you bring your hands down, the blending of the horizontal to vertical positions, they go both ways, start to define that space. So why do you define the space? Because as, as a martial art or functionality has to be around your space, because it's your body. You're not gonna do movements out here. Although some systems, you know, I talk, we talked about before, the framework of a form can be small, medium, or large. A large frame is maybe more aesthetically pleasing. It's a lot more like reaching out, longer movements. Um, so you, you do work the external extension, but it's not practical for functionality because this is your space. So the small to medium frame is more fit, effective for the medium space movement. So if you're in the strum de loot, you don't want to be like this. You want to be like this, in front of the nose. The nose also one of the references, and you're here. The second reference is secondary hand. Your forearm by the elbow, right? So that position, and this position, and this position, and this position are all essentially the same, right? Because that's, that's what really muscle memory is. Muscle memory is skeletal memory. The only thing they call muscle, or well, reason why they call muscle memory is because it appears that the muscles are remembering the movement, and it does. But what does the muscles do when it remembers the, the position, like proprioception? It's the skeletal memory. Because if you, if you get your skeleton correct, it's really directed from the mind. Then these shapes and these, you know, dimensional movements will, you know, build off of that. Uh, because postures, as we say, hand, eye, body, waist, right? The body is the posture. So postures is the final position. These are your final positions, target positions. Your transitions connect you know, the parts that work to create that. So if you were here and I did this and I did this and this and this and this and this, that's your your transitional motion. It's happening on both sides. It's sort of, because each side is doing its sort of its own thing as it, if it was done independently, it really combines together as a relationship. But independently, when it's working on all the different parts of your body, it's like multitasking. You're doing things that have entered subconscious and you're doing these things all the time in the subconscious. Whatever you do that you do frequently happens without thinking. So when the movements go to neutral and you turn and you go to a position and you're back and you turn, this becomes wired in your system. In the long-term memory, once it's wired, it never goes away. It just goes away if you don't if you don't do it. But it's always there. It's always stored in your brain somewhere. Um, it's not completely uh, removed, even though you forget things. It's not removed. You just if you get reminded, you remember it. So, so that's why a form is so critical, and why our fundamentals are so critical. Because if you don't get those in your body then you're always looking for it. So what are you looking for? You're thinking about it. So if you start to think about it, then it's no longer subconscious. It has to be a level of unconsciousness or subconscious where it becomes no-minded. That's what we call it in, in martial arts, no-mindedness. 
So the no-mindedness is really like what you do when, when you drive, when you do things that don't require a lot of thinking. But the, what does, what's that require is long-term experience. And the more experienced you are, you know, the better you do it. That's why drivers, it takes them probably 10 years to become a good driver. I imagine that because that's what the insurance companies say, right? They don't lower the rates until you drive for 10 years. So it must be a reason for that, maybe through their research. But if it takes that long to be good at driving, Tai Chi is probably the same way. So you have to practice that many years. But you're doing dri uh, driving every day when you learn to drive most of the time. But you practice Tai Chi twice a week. So then you gotta extend that out. Then it takes two decades. Not to discourage you, but that's how, it, how long it could take. Uh, but anyways, that's just a long you know, story to make you uh, not discouraged, but excited that, it's, that uh, you're not getting good because you're not good. It's because it takes a long time. So anyways, let's, let's do the 24. And we do the... Uh, I'm going to do it early. I just want to let you know. Okay. Yeah. How early? Like five minutes. Five minutes. Okay. It only takes five minutes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Feet parallel. Okay. Like this. And then we open. Okay. Preparation. Hold the ball. Pot the horse's mane three times. Stalk flaps wings. Brush knee and push three times. Strum the lute. Repulse the monkey, four movements backwards. So this is big frame. Grass the sparrow's tail. This is your right side, grass the sparrow's tail. Set up single whip. Cloud hands. Back to single whip. Half step forward, palm strike chase. Step to the corner, left corner to the right kick. That's a heel kick, two punches to the ear. Turn 180 degrees, big circle, big frame, heel kick, downward posture. Step up to golden cockerel. Step to the corner, Jade Lady Work Shadow. Step to the corner, Jade Lady Work Shadow. Real leg steps behind. Insert the needle. Fan through the back. Turn. Parry and punch. Same as before. Up it in Tiger Springs to Mountain. Turn back to the front, step out to the corner. Bring the hands back to center, cross, flatten them out, and close. 
Okay, deep breathing, four and a half minutes. So big frame, it takes more energy because the stances get bigger, the stances get deeper, lots of open space. It's just like sort of mansionizing your form. Uses a lot more energy, a lot of wasted space, but you know, but efficiency comes from when you go to the smaller frame and because you can control, but it's, the smaller frame is harder to do because of the, the nuances, because even though it's smaller, it's as big as the big frame, but you don't see it. Because it, the small internal movements are much more sophisticated, so it's still traveling the distance. That's it, let's we'll do it again. Okay, we'll see you, yeah. Okay, Maria, one more time. Okay. Okay. Sink the elbows, relax the shoulder. Okay, begin. Step out, part the horse's mane. Part the horse's mane. One more, left side, part the horse's mane. Half step forward, stalk flaps wings. Brush knee three times. Half step forward, strum the lute, vertical elbow. Open the arms, repulse the monkey. Sink the elbows. Finish the last opening, sink. Finish the last opening and sink. Last one, keep the hand down below to hold the ball. Ward off, roll back, press, and push. Turn, other side. Right side, forward and back, roll back, press, and push. Transition, like you're doing a set of cloud hands, but you just hook your wrists, open the stance, a single whip. We're gonna do it three times, cloud hands, six movements, three steps. Feet stay parallel, no pivoting required in the feet. Hook your wrists, single whip. Okay, half a step forward, palm strikes face, right. Heel kick, right. Two punches to the ear. Width of your forehead, about eyebrow level. Scoop down, lift the knee, heel kick left. Hook your wrist, go back down, downward posture, right side, right side, golden rock roll. Turn, left side, downward posture. Left side, golden cock roll. Hold the ball, right side, Jade Lady Work Shuttle. Right side, Jade Lady Work Shuttle. Insert the needle, fan to the back, turn. Parry and punch. Cross the arms, leopard and tiger springs to mountain. Close the form, pivot the feet. and close the form. Okay, deep breathing. So in, in martial arts, traditional martial arts, 
the way we learn and practice is through the forms. So there's always a beginning and end. So your posture is always a beginning and end. It always starts as a setup and then you go to the to finish it. The finish is, is the name of the, the posture in the final position. What happens in between is a transition. But you have to connect beginning to ends. It's a cycle. So the transition from the end of one posture to the beginning of the next posture becomes another setup. So now, if you have so many transitions, you have to redefine how those change because it, the, the postures throughout the form are just different beginnings, you know, depending on what the setup is. So that's to give you the sort of diverse and versatility of those postures if you were to use a parry or punch, which is a parry and punch, a form the fist and punch, they're all techniques. So what are you gonna do before that punch? What are you gonna do after that punch? So there's a lot of variations to show you that if you're in this situation, you might step back, you might step forward, you might cross over to this corner, do a move and you might cross over, that's footwork. So the hand, eye, body, waist, and stance, when we get to the, the last phase of the, that passage, the legs are your stances, you know, how good is your stance, how, how stable is your stance, that's the final position. Then what's your transition, how do you shift your weight, you know, which foot is pivoting, how that becomes your footwork. And that includes your kicks, right, They're, that's all part of the footwork. So then when it comes to the waist, what is the waist? The waist is from your sternum down to your navel. We don't think of our waist as where you put your belt. We think of the waist as this space. Uh, it's called the waist area. And that area includes your ribs, includes you know, the, the muscles in this area, the adductors, abductors, all those muscles are there. The back muscle, lower lumbar, the spine, it's all part of that. Because that's the area that moves when you twist. So we twist and turn, not because it's a, just an exercise, it's to teach your body to twist and turn. Because what it doesn't do, it doesn't know. So most things that you do, you don't do a lot of twisting and turning. 